in this question and determine the electric field at a point located at a height uh, l by 2 root 6 of the centroid of an equilateral triangle with s length l and uniform surface charge density sigma so in this problem there is a equilateral triangle plane charge having uniform density charge density sigma and we have to find the electric field at point p which is at a distance of uh, l by 2 root 6 from the center so let's see how to approach this problem and the concept we are going to use to solve this problem is uh, basically the symmetry the symmetry logics we will give and we will use uh, gauss law and flux okay so how we are using this let us see uh, suppose there is any plane charge like this suppose there is any plane charge having uniform density sigma and we are interested to find uh, electric field at a point p on this uh, symmetry axis and uh, uh, on this axis uh, there is a point p okay so let's see what uh, we are doing here so electric field at p basically electric field what is electric field electric field is the force uh, on a unit positive charge uh, applied by this uh, plane charge so whatever force is applied by this plane charge on a unit positive charge here is called the electric field at this point p okay so uh, we can put a um, unit positive charge here and force applied by this plane will be the electric field or we can also in turn says that uh, uh, so that uh, uh, force applied by this uh, this unit positive charge on this uh, plane charge is also the same okay so either we can find the force uh, on this uh, unit positive charge or we can find the force due to this unit positive charge on this plane so that will be the electric field at this point p so let's uh, move further so suppose if i uh, put a unit positive charge here and uh, now I am calculating force on this uh, plane charge so I am taking a very small area DA here ok so the DA is a very small area a small patch on this uh, plane charge and this is obviously the direction of force ok so force is along the line joining these two ok so what is force here force is uh, charge on the patch multiplied by the electric field and this is electric field here due to this charge Q is equal to 1 so this is the force on this small patch now we need to find the net force on this plane so suppose if there is symmetry okay so suppose if there is symmetry then net force will be perpendicular to the plane by the symmetry okay so force has two component one component will be perpendicular to the plane and other component will be along the plane so if there is symmetry then this along the plane components like uh, if you take uh, this element so this component will go like this and this perpendicular component will go like this okay so perpendicular components are always uh, like uh, downward here okay in in same direction and along the plane component uh, some components are in this direction some components are in this direction so suppose if there is symmetry then uh, these components along the plane will be cancelled so this is going to be a net force in case of symmetry i am talking about and this da cos theta is going to be sigma da e cos theta okay so the net force you can take sigma as uh, uh, sigma you can take uh, outside because sigma is constant this is uniform density and this is e da cos theta so electric field is due to this charge and this is e da cos theta and you can see here e da this is the direction of the da vector and this is the direction of electric field vector and uh, uh, angle between them is also theta so this is e da cos theta and this is obviously the integral e dot da which is flux due to this charge flux of this charge which is passing through this uh, area okay so flux due to this q passing through this plane area and this flux is denoted by symbol phi so this is sigma into phi so this is the net force and net force can be directly written as sigma into phi this is a very important result which can be remembered also sigma into phi so and this force is obviously equal to the electric field also so now we can uh, apply this one so i am applying this result to a very common calculation we do for electric field due to disc suppose this is the disc of uniform density sigma and we need to find electric field at this point p so due to this disc now we can see this is a, a symmetry axis and uh, uh, field will be along this axis or you can say if we put a unit positive charge here so the force will be along this axis or force due to this charge which is we which we are going to put here will be force due to this charge on this disc will be perpendicular to the disc so electric field can be written as sigma into phi and this phi is due to charge put here and charge is one coulomb so sigma and how to find the flux due to this charge to through this disc we can use solid angle concept 
सो टोटल फ्लक्स ड्यू टू क्यू चार्जेस क्यू बाई एफ्सल नॉट एंड द टोटल सॉलिड एंगल सप्टेंडेड इज फोर पाई सो दिस इज द फ्लक्स पर यूनिट सॉलिड एंगल एंड दिस डिस्क लेट एस अज्यूम दैट दिस डिस्क इज सप्टेंडिंग a solid angle of uh, omega here okay so this is the solid angle subtended by this disc at this point p so we should note this result that solid angle subtended in terms of this half angle theta is 2 pi into 1 minus cos theta so you can get the electric field very easily from here sigma by 2 epsilon not into this cos theta and cos theta you can write x divided by this distance which is under root x square plus r square now we are coming to our problem so our problem we have to find the electric field at p due to this kind of uh, uh, plane charge which is a equilateral triangle so what we can do here uh, first we have to close this point p okay and we are closing this point p through a tetrahedron tetrahedron is uh, like this kind of a structure okay so we are closing this point p and uh, now we will form a regular tetrahedron here so this is a regular tetrahedron uh, this base is the triangular base and uh, we have four faces four triangular faces here and what is the speciality about this uh, what is uh, special about this distance so this is basically this point p is basically the center of that regular tetrahedron and if you want to find if you want to confirm that this is the distance uh, l by 2 root 6 you can find the coordinates of the center of tetrahedron using this result so x coordinate of the center of tetrahedron is summation xi xi uh, this is basically the summation of x coordinates so uh, we have four we have four vertices of a regular tetrahedron so suppose this has x1 coordinate this has x2 x3 x4 so we can sum this coordinate divided by 4 and similarly we can do for y and z so from there you can easily say that uh, this distance is l by 2 root 6 so you can remember this is the Uh, height of the center of mass or center of this uh, regular tetrahedron from the centroid of this uh, equilateral triangle of the base so now the problem is very simple you can find the total flux through this uh, regular tetrahedron this is cube epsilon this is total flux and from symmetry we can say that uh, this same flux is passing through this phase and this phase and there are total four phases like this so flux through each phase is q by 4 epsilon not and flux through this phase is also q by 4 epsilon not so electric field is simply sigma into phi and that uh, sigma and charge is equal to 1 so sigma upon 4 epsilon this is the electric field at this point p so this is the final answer